we go back again with another match review and by the smile on my face yes Sunderland have made it to the final of the Papa John's Trophy and we'll play Tranmere in the final down at Wembley in the Papa John's Trophy it's not a Papa John's pizza this is much better and a lot cheaper but yes Sunderland tonight finished one to peach in full time and Sunderland went on to win in penalties absolutely fantastic I'm over the moon I'm, I'm, I'm cock a hoop we had a makeshift defence, which makes it all the more sweeter. <sighs> Celebrate toast to every single Sun and Plate night. Well done. I know it is a Mickey Mouse League, as a Mickey Mouse, sorry, cup, as some people say from the higher leagues. It doesn't matter. These players are not good enough for the championship. These players are not good enough from the Premier League. These players, this is their Wembley, their FA Cup final. You've got to be happy for these young players, for these players who are going to retire like McGeady at some point and lead better. It's brilliant. This is the FA Cup of their level. So to get to Wembley, it's fantastic. I'm over the moon for the team. I'm over the moon for Lee Johnson. First, you know, just coming this season, starting to get things sorted out in his fine first final. Absolutely amazing. I'm over the moon, you know, at the end of the day. You don't get, as a footballer, many opportunities to play at the big stage at Wembley. Doesn't matter what cup, doesn't matter what league, doesn't matter. We're at Wembley, that all that matters for these players and for Lee Johnson. And I'm over the moon. Congratulations, all of the team and the management. Management, brilliant, brilliant night. But anyway, the team news tonight. I'm, I'm not happy, I can't get my words out properly. Right, we had Bergium goal, Luke going nine and Bailey right. Luke going nine, absolutely magnificent all over the park. Can play anywhere, this lad. McFadzine left hand side, power, and we had Ledbetter, Scone, Neil, Maguire, Maguire came on, sorry, McGeady, White, and Gooch. Now, the first half we started off, we, we were sloppy, we were slow, we let them get at us. Lincoln, you know, at the end of the day, Lincoln can, 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 you know, hang the heads up really high, be proud of themselves. They've done a really good job tonight. The first 20 minutes, they played well, passed the ball well, look a really good unit. Mike Appleton's doing a fantastic job at Lincoln, and I'm, I'm pretty sure Lincoln will be promoted this season. And that's an amazing achievement for Lincoln City and for Mike Appleton and for this team. Amazing achievement. I hope Lincoln do go up this season, you know, because they've absolutely been brilliant so far this season. But they started really well, first 20 minutes. After that, I thought, oh, it's queer. Some of them don't seem to be on the form the first 20 minutes. But then we started to get into the game, start to control the game, start to dominate the game. And it was all sun and going towards half time. Half time, knows the page. Second half time come out. Second half started. Now, Lincoln, out of all the leagues in England, Lincoln have scored the most goals in the second half. That's the kind of side they have. They've got 46 goals in the second half. More than Brentford, more than Liverpool. So they're, they're really good, strong attacking unit. And they, they don't know when to give up. So the day, second half came out. Lee Johnson was upset because we should have had a, we should have had a, a throw in. But the referee said it was theirs. It was clearly our throw in. And we, were a bit, we seemed to be a little bit stunned by the throw in. They get the ball, they pass it down the wing. It comes across and it falls to to their player inside the penalty box. Has a shot, Burge saves the ball magnificently. Fantastic save for Burge. But, now this is the big buts. At half time, Bailey Wright had to go off. I don't know why. Hopefully it's precautionary for the weekend. And McLaughlin had to come on. So McLaughlin's a right back, player set the back. Luke O'Neill's a, a left back, a right back. Um, a midfielder, a striker, a goalkeeper, and he had to go into centre back. So, you know, we had a makeshift defence. Now, the ball came across, Burge made the brilliant save, and he pushed it sideways, and it was there, number 11, who responded the fastest. I mean, Gooch was, wasn't doing anything, standing around doing out. Matt Fazin, out of position, and Luke O'Neill 9 was way off the pace on this particular moment. The only time that Luke O'Neill 9 actually was out of position for, this, for the whole game, he had a brilliant game. So they scored, and I thought, oh, here we go. They're the strongest second half. 46 goals, blah, blah, blah. They're going to go on to win this match. But Sunderland, after that, really got the backs up and started to bombard, absolutely bombard their goal. Double substitution. Diamond came on. I think we took off, I took off Gucci at one point, but Diamond came on. Neil went off, and, and, and Scal went off, who was particularly not very good in the first half. And, and Maguire came on the king. Now, three, three opportunities. <clears throat> in quick succession for Charlie Wyke. Charlie Wyke, quite as amounts, 
most of the game. Their defenders had him in his back pocket. Lincoln defended really well up to this moment. Then Charlie White. Ball comes in from Diamond. Charlie White diving header. Hits his face. Bounces on the floor. Keeper tips it over the top. Corner to Sunderland. Now, another ball comes in again later on. <clears throat> about 30 seconds later. <coughs> Charlie White running towards the near post. Hits it with his foot. One touch Charlie White. Keeper. Brilliant save. So there's two shots from Charlie White in a minute. Third time lucky. This time... The ball comes in from McGeady on the right on our right hand side. A fantastic ball from McGeady. He had he had four assists on Saturday and again assists. And who was there? Charlie White, third time lucky. What an absolutely fantastic, fantastic header in the bottom left hand side corner. Keeper, no chance. Now, if this goal was from Manchester United or from Liverpool, people would be raving. What a brilliant pass! What a brilliant header! But it's come from Sun and it was a fantastic masterclass stroke of a header from, from Wyke. Absolutely amazing. The guy's on form this season. Yes, he's absolutely fantastic. Sunderland wants a peach. Then Sunderland throwing the kitchen sink at Lincoln. But later on, Lincoln had a couple of opportunities to come forward and it ended once a peach. You know, on the balance of play, Lincoln were good enough to deserve a draw. We didn't create enough apart from the three chances from Wyke to win the game, so balance of player, one's a page, and then there was penalties, a conundrum penalties. Who steps up for Sunderland first? You wouldn't put any money on it. I would never have guessed in a million years, but Maximus, the power, steps up. For me, it was probably the best penalty of the night. Top right hand side corner, keeper absolutely no chance of saving it. Their second, now their first penalty, hits Burge's leg as he dives and it goes up in the air, back, back of the net. Now, as the, as the game goes on, I, I give 9 out of 10 of that penalty from Power. It was sublime. Luke Gore 9 steps up for the second penalty. Luke Gore 9. Luke Gore 9 steps up. Hits it low. Soft. Bottom right hand side. Their keeper, for me, should have saved it. Went under his hands in the back of the net. And Luke Gore 9 was like... Oh. You could see... You could see the relief on Luke Gore 9's face as that goes under the keeper. So Sunderland scored again. Then they scored again. And then who took the third penalty? Who stepped up for the third penalty? It had to be. I think it was. It was McGeady, wasn't it? Or was it Maguire? Maguire steps up for the third penalty. Hits it left. And again, it goes straight for a great opportunity for their keeper to save it. And the keeper does everything wrong. It goes, it touches it and goes under the keeper. And Maguire again is like, over the moon that goes through. Now there... I think it was their third penalty taker hits the crossbar, smashes the crossbar, and what a relief! I'm over the moon, absolutely over the moon. He must be gutted as a player, but me as a as a, as a fan, I'm absolutely relieved. McGeady steps up, steps up for his penalty. He takes a shimmy, stops in his mid run up, and then slots the ball right hand side keeper. Goes the wrong way. Cool, calm, and clever from the majestic McGeady today, who has another assist to his name. Then they scored the next goal and it's down to Ledbetter. Ledbetter needs to step up to score the penalty to send Sunderland into the final. Ledbetter ste steps up. He's never missed a penalty this season so far. Right, he's had one saved, but then he scored the rebound. Steps up, puts the keeper the wrong way, sends Sunderland to Wembley. We're going to Wembley. Well done. Well done. Everybody, you know, involved in that match tonight. Brilliant. Brilliant, you deserve it, well done. And the biggest smile of the night has to go to, to Lee Johnson. What a smile that guy has on his face. He's absolutely cock a hoop and over the moon. We're going to Wembley. We as fans cannot go unless <clears throat> lockdown's over and they let a few thousand fans in. But I don't think it's going to happen. So yes, we can't go as fans. But Sunderland are going there for the second time in three years. At the end of the day, you know... I want to give a shout out to Lincoln. Lincoln were absolutely amazing tonight. Lincoln, you did well. You know, you, you tried your best. You just, just one of those things. The, the lottery of a penalty. The petri, the pen, the petri, the penalty lottery. You win some, you lose some. We lost at the final a couple of years ago, but we win tonight. So well done, Sonnen. In the final, check a trade trophy. Hopefully Bailey Wright's fit for Saturday against Burton. Don't forget me live stream. Me live stream for the Burton match is on Saturday. You can also leave your score predictions in the review 
for the Burton match, which is already out with the Lincoln one. And don't forget, if you want to see something different, pop over to a video before and see a, a drive around Durham in the 1980s and a drive around Durham now, 2021. Please subscribe to the channel. Hopefully by Saturday tea time, I'll have 10k subscribers and a song coming your way. I'm going to have a good sleep. I'm going to have a good eat of this pizza, a nice little drink. I might go and watch a bit of zero, zero, zero. Wasn't zero at night, was one's a peach. And some new on penalties. Get in. See you later. Take care. God bless you, mate. Go, go with you. Woo, what a night. Oh, what a night. Late February, back in 2021. We're back at Wembley again. Hey, hey. Why am I singing? I just love singing. That's not a bad beer. Ha, 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 ha.